Yup, this show is still around. So a year ago exactly from this video, I made a video called Why I Hate Bluey. And you know I gave all my points to why I hated it. The views were pretty nice as well. But I was hoping that, that this time it'd be gone. We could finally live in peace and no more Bluey. Yeah, that did not happen, it's still around. By anything, it's gotten worse. But who knows? The Bluey community has gotten a lot of time to develop and put new stuff. It's gotta be good by now. So I decided to give it another chance and see what it's like now. And do not worry, I will be a Karen in this video. Can I speak with the manager, please? Yeah, I'm never gonna do that again, sorry. That could have been worse than Bluey itself. Well, let's just see with the first topic, the episodes. So mostly the episodes last year, I made fun of the heartwarming wannabe stuff. I made fun on how one episode could just go big and die off really quickly. That's still a thing on the show. But what I really want to talk about is the laziness of these episodes and how just how stupid they are. And I'm not gonna say it, if you don't know who Bluey is, you must be under a rock. Because almost the whole world knows who Bluey is, because everyone acts like they did nothing, anything wrong. But what about the time where Bluey's parents asked her to stop calling them dude? Look kids, all I ask is that you eat some alfalfa. It'll stop you getting sick. Okay, what is alfalfa? Like what is a veg? Is it like a vegetable or something? Okay, dude. And stop calling me dude. Sorry, dude. Bluey, can it? Sure thing, dude. <laughs> Bluey, I'm serious. What's up with these dudes? Well, what about the time where Bluey and Bingo made your, the dad suffer in the episode Hairdressers? Because in that episode, they forced their dad to take a cold shower. They laugh at him, freezing to death and suffering. And as soon as he got out of the shower, Bluey and Bingo just beat him up as he tries to escape with like house objects and stuff. That's not very nice. So you've got the community, bad as always, but something that's changed is a lot more people are inside now. You got quarantine, you got all that stuff, and now with the rise of online school, this should hopefully stop you from seeing kids in school from doing it. Sit your asses down! Well, you know what they say, kids are kids. Hopefully the parents and the grandparents can step in and help. I guess we have everyone liking Bluey now. Yeah, and people still praise this show. Well, don't mind me. I'm just eating a grilled cheese sandwich. Mmm, extra pickle. I mean, it's kind of weird. So recently they put Bluey on Disney Plus, and now everyone is just filming their screens at random parts of the show. Who cares what it is? Just film your screens and put it all over anything with some annoying robot voice saying, ha ha ha, so funny, lol. Like with that annoying text to speech voice. Curly had no reason being this funny. This just came to mind. I've seen this video a trillion times and I am so done with it. The video is made by Jake Juku that annoying bluey animation youtuber and the video is going to go like <laughs> if there was a video that lives in my head rent free it's going to be your stupid video i'll i want it out i'll charge it rent, rent free why is he becoming an elder lich god I lose sleep because of this person. Oh. Oh. But with that, let's get into 
to the people who like Bluey. So, the most famous person, BNB Productions, he's still number one somehow, even though they're still doing the same stuff, you know, buying stuff, reviews, whatever, honestly. I don't know how they're so popular. Yes, I am super jealous of their fame. But worst thing about all of that is that last year I said I was glad all the people could get off the Bluey fan base and just like go on to Reddit and not YouTube. Well now, they're rushing over to, up to YouTube. And the worst thing is that half of them almost have like 10,000 subscribers. If I had 10,000 subscribers, I would be like going through the roof. They get 10,000 like a year. And with all of the animations of Bluey on this app, YouTube, how are none of them good? The crazy thing is that there are some there are some Bluey fan animations that are actually very, very creative and good. But no, those aren't popular. What we need is edgy, edgy, edgy teenager stuff. People, still trash. Everything on the show's community is trash. Well, there's something that I didn't include last year. The fans that watch this show. I'm a big dog, big People that are fans of Bluey and all this other stuff are some of the most annoying people you'll ever meet. They'll get mad over every little stupid thing you say. If you say poop, they're mad. Not only that, like, let's say they're a fan of BNB Productions. If you say something bad about her, oh, they will spam your comments all day. It's so annoying. Have you been, like, the people watching the app? Like, oh, yeah, you think there's nothing worse than the people who watch the app? Well, there's nothing wrong with them, except for the ears that's causing the damage. Well, you may be thinking, all right, at least nothing's worse than the fans of the people who watch the app. Oh, there is the people who watch the app and they send every single Bluey video on my recommended. Oh, I'm just trying to relax, have a good day, drinking some root beer, whatever. Then I get 80 messages about Bluey. I don't care. Then, we get to a final section. James, can can we play Space Explorer? Shut up for a second. I'm watching this unnaturally charming preschool show. Why are you watching a show for babies? Okay, kid. This show is extremely sophisticated and you can enjoy it with children and adults. So why don't you shut your ignorant mouth and find someone who actually loves you to play a- Can you just shut up, mate? No one cares. Are you familiar with the Australian animated preschool show, Bluey? Yes, I'm familiar with the show Bluey, and it sucks, and I made this video in two seconds. If the algorithm is anything like mine, you'll have seen a bunch of clips of this blue cartoon dog all over your For You page, paired with Subway Surfer highlights. Let's read some of the comments on these Bluey TikToks, shall we? No shame, I'm a senior in high school, but I watch Bluey religiously, and this episode made had me all in my f- Dude, these people are actually sick, dude. Why is this show about Australian dogs so popular with adults who don't even have children? That's a good question. This phenomenon intrigued me. One day, I sat down, put on the first episode, and- Oh my god, you're a furry. I watched all 141 episodes. Oh my god, dude, he's literally a furry dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, doesn't just looking at these backgrounds bring a smile? No, it doesn't, man. I'm portraying yourself as the little blue dog is just weird, bro. Okay, I see why this show is so popular. You fat moron. No. Because it's genuinely a good show. We've already established that the show is great to look at, but the voice acting, the sound design, and the music are equally as amazing. So it's also great to listen to. Now he's associating French people with Bluey. He's just making pathetic excuses. He's just like trying to come up with excuses to like why he can like the show. Like, um, actually, Bluey can be enjoyed by all adults and children because it's wholesome and it's my comfort show. Like, just, just shut up, please. Like, why? Why? It's so bad to show like Bluey beating up his dad with random household objects. It's so bad. I don't know why you're making videos of this and like praising it. And the fact that this video has over 1,000 views just proves my point that the fandom is made of stupid stuff. Well, that's the end, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bluey.
Yo, the Ray Chan. Have you done that homework, right? Yeah. <laughs>